The BCCI's oldest running cricket tournament has been cancelled for the season due to the COVID-19 pandemic. But the IPL can happen twice in a matter of six months. Actually, England's players will sit out of some of the international matches against India but play the IPL. Certain Indian players risked injury, got injured but still played the IPL even if it meant missing national duty. So I hope you've understood what I'm trying to say here, right? That the IPL has now become the big alpha in the world of cricket, at least for now. And while most other years, I'd be questioning the decisions that have led to that status quo in the 12 months that the world of cricket has seen so far, an IPL is what it does need. But while I explore that one facet of this topic, there's also an interesting parallel narrative building of the England Cricket Board, one of the last to fully embrace the T20 League. The ECB is now all but all in for the coming season of the IPL. So yes, the IPL and how it's got to become the biggest fish in the sea of world cricket. And that's not me shooting arrows in the dark because fact, India's oldest domestic cricket tournament, the Ranji Trophy, has been cancelled for the season the first time in 87 years. But there has been a time to organise two IPL seasons in that same window, one outside India and one probably in India. Now, you'd argue that the formats are different and the structure of the two leagues is poles apart. And while a second world war couldn't stop the Ranji Trophy, two IPLs in six months has. Because while IPL 2020 saw BCCI fully invest there and not look towards the revival of domestic cricket until January, the IPL in April 2021 means there's effectively no window left to organise the Ranji Trophy anymore. And if there's room for a little more argument there, I'll draw your attention towards international cricket in the year 2019. While England and Australia pulled their players out of the IPL two weeks before the end of the season to join their teams in preparatory camps for the ICC ODI World Cup, the BCCI left their players to fend for themselves, with Virat even saying players themselves needed to be smart and dressed when they think they needed it during the IPL. So like Jasprit Bumrah was expected to go and tell his captain Rohit Sharma at the Mumbai franchise that he wanted to rest during a semi-final. So well, anyway, now that we can all just learn to live with the fact that the IPL is the BCCI's biggest baby, what is also great to see is that foreign boards are treating it the same way now. Like the ECB is rotating their players and resting them from international matches while making no mention of players needing to rest during the IPL. Jofra Archer and Ben Stokes sat out of the Sri Lanka tour last month and Josh Butler returns to England after the first test against India with Johnny Bairstow also sent back during the first two tests. Why though are they doing this in a year that saw ECB cut cricketers salaries due to COVID-19 to facilitate the process? where players can draw in an extra few million uh, from another third party doesn't really sound like a bad idea now, does it? Also, as Oin Morgan himself confessed after leading England to the World Cup title in 2019, letting their players play the IPL is part of the ECB's plan. I quote, it is completely beneficial to play the IPL. We are using it as a vehicle to try and grow players, Morgan had said. And of course, as you know, England had won the ICC ODI World Cup that year. Also, there's an ICC T20 World Cup slated to be played in India later this year. A World Cup in which Jofra Archer, Ben Stokes, Josh Butler are expected to play big roles for England. Also, remember when I said England were going all in? Well, England's limited overs analyst Nathan Lemon will be joining KKR as a strategic consultant for this IPL season. The season before the T20 World Cup where he's actually been given a leave of absence by the ECB to work with their limited overs captain Oil Morgan at KKR. Collect data of players from across the world, data on pitches and conditions across India. So well, as you see, while the BCCI may prioritise the IPL in the process, hurt other formats of the sport in the country, the England Cricket Board has also prioritised the IPL but to their own benefit. So well, as I sign off here, I'm just going to ask one question. Who really do you think is winning this IPL game?